Hey folks, Corey here, and I've had a lot of people reach out to me and ask me questions about what was going on with my laser company and laser cleaning, and I kind of wanted to share some stuff with you today. So um, basically, a lot of y'all have already seen what I can do with my continuous watt laser. This is the big bad boy. It's uh, for heavy duty stuff. Uh, it's a thousand watt machine. Uh, it's basically for all the commercial stuff. Uh, oil tankers, um, uh, frames for big trucks, you know, commercial type stuff. Uh, sometimes we clean uh, machinery in uh, manufacturing plants and so forth. But we do also have our smaller machine that you can see here. It's our newest addition to our uh, laser, alien laser cleaning and restoration. Uh, we just got this this past week, uh, and it's for more gentle cleaning such as uh, and I've got some products laid out here I'm going to kind of demonstrate with you uh, this is a simple cooking sheet many of y'all have those I'm sure that it's just toast from the um you can see I've already kind of played around with it a little bit it's just toast from uh you can't get the uh the stuff off of there so no matter how hard you scrub so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to kind of go over a demo with you on how it works and uh, here's my number here if you guys want to give me a call. Uh, if you've got some projects like engines or car stuff or antiques. Um, but we all have dishes. Uh, now, obviously you wouldn't want to worry about a cooking sheet because they're, they're easy to replace. But if you've got some cast iron skillets, stuff like that, antiques that you want to have saved, you'll never be able to get the grease and the rust off of there. And I'm going to show you how that works here in just a second. But also some of these antique tools that you find. Um, I'm going to show you how we can clean that because you can't clean it no matter, you you know, you can. It's going to take a, a ton of elbow grease and sandpaper and chemicals and stuff like that. But I'm going to show you how quick we can clean it with our uh, machine and how, how it works. So give me just a second. I'm going to set this up so you guys can see it a little bit better. And we'll go from there okay so real quick I've set up here a little bit I'm going to show you how our new gun works um, this weighs about 20 pounds it's it's quite intense I'm going to show you real quick right here how it works let me get it going here and you guys can watch all right here we go bright light Okay, you can see how kind of, I just kind of went over it real quick. Normally we would have a bigger pattern and we would have it to where uh, I would have an air hose on it so you wouldn't see all these particles and stuff. But mainly, that's the way it works. It, it pretty much gets it, now we have different patterns that we use, but you can see it's not hot to the touch, okay? Our other machine, you can see there, cleaned it really good. So you can see the little wave patterns. If I had gone slower, you wouldn't have these here. Matter of fact, I can change the pattern on it to show you if I use my uh, circular pattern, and we'll do that right now. If I use my circular pattern, it cleans it just a little bit differently. So we'll go over that real quick. So on cleaning like objects, it takes precise up and you don't want a straight line because you don't want to damage it and you don't want those patterns to show up you would use something like a circular motion uh, so that you don't damage it uh, again this this machine is for more delicate items now I've got it cranked all the way up um, obviously if I did not want to uh, 
hurt it. I could turn it down. It's at 100%. I could turn it down to 50% if I want. And then, of course, here's a straight line. There we go. Didn't have the didn't have the settings turned on. Sorry. So again, you can see. I did it real fast, a little jiggly, but you can see how, and again, it's not hot to the touch, but you can see how the different patterns create different lines. Uh, obviously, you have got to take your time with it. Again, I've got it cranked all the way to 100, so that's why you see the patterns kind of like that a little bit. Now, if I would have gone slower, get, again, this was a demo, but I'm going to show you what it looks like for like tools. So what we'll do is we'll change it, and we'll set it up to where it's doing this so you guys can see a little bit better now here we go So you would never be able to get it done this fast using sandpaper or a grinder. It would just take forever, man. And of course, you can't get everything off. If the rust is pitted, then it won't clean it. You cannot clean pitted no matter what because that's where the rust has actually deteriorated the metal. I'm trying to get a little bit better for you guys for the demo. Alright. And you can see pretty much took all that carbon off, which is what we're after. Now, obviously if you guys have car frames and engines and stuff like that or you know stuff that is antique -ish. you would come along with it and you would paint it or something like that uh, so that's basically how it works guys I know you guys have asked me a lot of questions and so hopefully I've answered those questions we can do anything we can clean anything whether it be rust um, any type of carbon uh, oxid oxide uh, what do you call it oxide oxidation of aluminum or anything like that just give us a call 254-300-6075 or you can go to alienlasercleaning.com and find us there. Thank you.